Hey, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic Survive with me, Squidoodle. So I know I haven't uploaded for two days, and that's because I have been productive, okay? I have been busy. Things have changed. Things have dramatically changed uh, with my base. So I'm going to show you guys the first thing that I've changed, and then the second thing, and then, yeah, the, the third thing. <laughs> so yeah, let's start with the first thing. But before we do, if you've seen if you've, if you've, if you've, thank you. <laughs> If you're excited for today's episode, please smash like. Cheers, guys. And, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So, this is the first change. Look at it. So, I and Shadow have built uh, an AFK bot farm. So, this thing was running for six hours overnight, like six and a half hours. Um, if you can see by the footage here, uh, I did a, a big sort of time lapse. I left my recording on for six hours. And, uh... It was a little bit crazy. It worked absolutely flawlessly. Um, yeah, we killed about, I think it was around 150 hay bots. Because uh, that's how many legs I got. I got six uh, of the, the crates, the um, resource collector crates from it. So it works out about 25 hay bots per hour, which isn't a lot. But when you're not actively, uh, you know, killing them yourself, it's, it's perfect. It works absolutely perfect. So yeah, I'll take you around this thing. If you guys don't know, ramps at the moment i hope they don't patch it but ramps are actually indestructible you can get these from the warehouse from the top floor uh that's where i've basically stolen all mine from and yeah they're totally indestructible so how it basically works is it's just a giant square it's like this all the way around and uh we've put them on pistons and you have to kind of update it but um, yeah, it just kind of does this. So this bottom square just obviously stays static, uh, which you know protects things getting in. And then the top one just squishes them. And uh, bots can hit this all they want. And uh, they just can't destroy it. So it's a little bit overpowered. Uh, it's a little bit glitchy, but as I said, I had it on for six hours and it didn't break. So I'm I'm pretty pleased with it. The only thing is you got to be careful when getting into it because if you if you're like a bit of a late jumper, <laughs> it kind of um, it kind of does this. But yeah, you manage to like roll in roll into the farm um but yeah one of the things that i've done as well is i've finally set myself up uh, an automatic uh, watering system which i've been wanting to do for a while i know that i had the uh, the weirdest setup in my in my old base you guys are yet to see the the new base it's, it's don't worry it's not i haven't done that much off camera um but I know you guys wanted me to kind of have a little bit of progress, uh, especially with like Larry London stuff. You guys were like, well, you know, you can do bits outside of episode because it gets a bit boring sometimes. So, yeah, this is what I've kind of done to get myself up to speed. Uh, we've done two, like, you know, they just these guys water 25, uh, 50 crops each, and uh, it's just super efficient. And I needed one because, as I said, the old base had such a crappy watering system. But anyway, we'll turn this off for now. Um, when my spuds are ready, which they should be ready any second, I'm just going to go uh, along and harvest them all. This is like tons of ammo. This is all the ammo we're ever going to need. But uh, it's just kind of stress-free farming, which is, uh, yeah, it's what I kind of like. And this guy hasn't grown, right? Why have you not grown, mate? Did you not have any water on you? Maybe my watering system isn't that good. But, uh, yeah, I'll just plant all these, and then I'll show you guys uh, my my watering system. So I was going to do a video on, like, remaking uh, the, AFK, the AFK farm, um, but I don't think I really need to. Like, all it is is a square full of ramps and then a square full of pistons that are on a timer that just constantly ticks up and down, up and down, up and down, and that's all it is. It's there's, there's no controllers used. Uh, there's nothing that you really need apart from ramps, pistons, and a few logic blocks uh, and a timer. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And the watering system itself, you've probably seen loads of other YouTubers uh, with their watering system. They're a lot more efficient than mine. Mine's a little bit erratic, but... Um, oops, that's the wrong one. But it gets the job done. It just kind of spurts out, and they kind of, like, just match each other. So, yeah, it's, it's decent. It works. It's it's not the most efficient. I'm pretty sure there's other people that have done it more efficiently than me. But you know what? This is this is what I've done, and it works for me. So I'm I'm very happy with it. So we will... Uh, what time is it now? It's 2 o'clock. So, yeah, we will... Uh, I'll show you guys the, the farm at night, because obviously you want to see it at night, because that's, <laughs> that's when stuff happens. 
happens. But, uh, yeah, that is my farm done. But, uh, yeah, so let's move on to the second thing which I've done. So you guys ready? Ready, 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 ready. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> so I've got rid of the base. Oops, I just nearly knocked my drink over. Um, <laughs> I got rid of the base. The base was here, and I just wasn't happy with it. Hey, I just wasn't happy with it. I wasn't finishing it because I wasn't happy with the design. I didn't really like it. So what I've done is I've made the squid garage bigger. I made the mouth bigger, made it wider, uh, and I'm going to give you a quick tour. So you might notice there's a little bit of an elevator. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But it's so much bigger now. Uh, we've got room for um, Bert... Um, and Wibbly Wobbler. I don't know what we're going to call the bike. It was something I've got a name. Uh, and yeah, all my chest. I've got myself my system sorted back in here. We got ourselves the uh, little refining units uh, hooked up to this thing. We just hooked up this thing. And it's all uh, interconnected and it just works absolutely perfectly. And uh, yeah, so I've basically built this little elevator shaft. So... Okay, it sometimes does that. <laughs> you just get a little bit sleepy on the way up to the elevator. But this is where I'm going to put, like, my bedroom slash, like... I don't really know. I just want, like, a, a room up here. Um, So, yeah. So, at the end of the day, we can come up here and chill. So, our base is going to be on top of here. It's not going to be too big because I've got everything downstairs. But I like it. It's a lot better than my old base. Larry Land's looking a little bit uh, neglected at the moment. And that's because we, uh, we spent so long doing all, these, uh, all this work. But... I like it. So what I want to do today is obviously I wanted to show you guys the farm because uh, I spent a lot of time on it and show you guys the uh, the up upgrades and the updates, should I say. So what I want to do in this space here is I thought I might as well start working on more machines. So one of the things that I haven't really done yet is work on sort of like a saw like a wood mill. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to try and innovate like a little chainsaw. So I kind of had a, an idea to basically put one saw blade on some like arms that will grab around the root of the tree, chop it down, switch it off, and then I can weld the tree on the back of a trailer. And then here I'm going to basically build uh, like a sawmill. So that is the plan for today. So let's get cracking. I hope that you guys enjoyed the farm and my new base. I absolutely love this. Uh, I ran out of paint, so the teeth are a bit, it's like brushed one side and not the other. <laughs> yeah, the teeth are a little bit, bit uh, a different color, but I got all the paint done pretty much around the whole sides of it. We have covered it in ramps just so it's uh, protected by bots because we had a little bit of a break in here. But apart from that, it's it's great. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love the squid face. I'm going to try and build myself a, um, a little whip bot launcher because I'm sick of the heads. I hate them. <laughs> I've just got so much junk lying around and I absolutely hate it. But uh, yeah, let's get cracking. So I think what I'll do first is I will start working on the, the chainsaw. So all I'm kind of thinking is if we get ourselves let me just grab ourselves a saw because uh, we made loads for the trap if you guys remember when we when this was originally like a trapping base and stuff um yeah we tried saws and it you know just made the the whip bots um invincible so that wasn't a good good start but they fixed that now but i've got rid of it so it doesn't even matter but uh yeah so let's get cracking so i'm gonna get ourselves a couple of bearings saw blade and then i could do with an engine and then we should be good to go i kind of want something that's mobile and i can just kind of pick it up put it near a tree and uh and then yeah just kind of grab it weld it on the back of my truck which i haven't made yet which i'm i'm probably gonna have to start getting uh, getting cracked on within a second <laughs> but yeah today's it is just really about trying to get this sawmill done obviously things will change uh in regards to um, like if I build a, like a flatbed truck, like that's going to change and evolve. But hopefully we can get a solid sawmill today. All right. Well, I know it sounds stupid, but I think I've finished the chainsaw. Like uh, I've literally just spent two seconds on it and uh, I kind of like it. It's, it's very compact. And uh, if you guys remember the miner that I made, I kind of made it where I kind of welded it to the ground and it worked pretty much perfectly. I'm just trying to look for a switch. Have I got, have I got a switch anyway? I'm going to have to make a switch, but we should have materials for a switch, I hope. Yeah, we've got loads. Okay, so what it is... All right, don't laugh because this will work. So all it is is an engine and a saw blade. This is 200 IQ, okay? We don't need anything fancy. None of this fancy malarkey, you know, pistons and, and what have you. I can put this on the back of my truck. 
and just I, I think it'd be quicker i honestly do think it'd be quicker than messing about trying to make all like fancy things like the fancy things is going to be the sawmill today i want to see how this works so before we get raided let's go and uh yeah let's go test it out i already had a switch on me <laughs> well that's awkward isn't it okay so pop this there and get rid of that and then yeah let's go find a tree so all right let's just let's just do it then just just pop a pop a block down i guess block down like so grab it and then just weld it is that gonna reach probably not but it hurts me <laughs> okay well that's fair enough i guess i've been outsmarted by said tree okay well not to worry that's that's not that's not an issue for me not really hard to fix this problem uh, all we need is ourselves a little piston and a controller, and then we're good to go, really. I think that's a, that's a pretty easy fix. Where's all my junk at? There's that. Where's the piston? Piston. Piston. They've all gone on Larry Launch, haven't they? That's what they've done. Where's all the pistons at, boys? Am I going to have to make a fresh piston? Oh, I hope not. Anyway, it's time for the show to begin. Let's go and uh, update that and get on here. And then you guys can watch the magic happen. Here we go. So, yeah, bots come up. Run under. Get squished. Run under. Get squished. It spazzes out a little bit, but that's fine. That's that's part of the magic here. That's fine. And look, it's perfect. It's invincible. It's perfect. We get lots of legs. And, uh, yeah, plenty of metal from this bad boy. Sometimes you get the one or two of these... Never mind, he's gone. <laughs> he's playing ball today. Okay, so there we go. So that's all of them done. And uh, wave over. All right, back to the build. <laughs> Simple as that. So they did a patch uh, yesterday, which basically means that the pistons have to be the same. Well, they have to be leveled up if you want to extend them when connected to a controller. So before, if you used to have level one pistons attached to a controller, you could extend it 15 blocks irrega regardless regardless of uh, the level but now they have to be leveled up if you want to get them to um, extend fully even when attached to a controller so a little bit sucky uh, because obviously before it was a great way to kind of save your component kits you didn't have to level up your uh, your pistons to get them to extend but now we're in the dark ages boys <laughs> we got you have to try and get so many more component kits now Anyway, so, yeah, so we just need to put piston, that, that, and then that, and, oops, like so, and then attach a controller to it, and then tell the piston to extend, please, like, I don't know, it's probably gonna be like, three blocks, fast, and, sword, alright, Take two, let's go. And I'm gonna get some comments like, well, Squid, if you built a vehicle, then you'd have it down already. Look, right, okay. I've built enough vehicles that just fly away on me. So I'm wanting to build something a little bit more compact where I don't have to spend ages doing it. Because I've spent so much time on my base, guys. Like, trust me. I want I want something, uh, I want something a bit more stress-free, a bit more easy. So we just go and grab this further side. And we attach it to... Actually, we, should, we could attach it to the bottom, can't we? All right, and then switch it on. And... Oh, I need to connect that to the engine. And there we go, tree down. <laughs> How easy is that? <laughs> and then pick it up. And then move on! Look at that, we got a tree already! I don't need any vehicles! Okay, so... Now, you can actually just weld the tree back uh, onto the back of a truck, so... Chainsaw is done. Let's go and get cracking. Actually, we might as well put some feet on it. Like so. All right. So, yeah, let's go and get ourselves a truck. Or at least something to kind of uh, put the trees on the back of. So, how big are these bad boys? It's going to have to be a, quite a big little flatbed, isn't it? So, okay. Bear with me. I'll be back. I'm going to go and uh, uh, work on this thing. So, yeah. Let's see how... Let's see how this goes. What I could do as well is I could, I could put a couple of bearings uh, and have this side of the base, like, flap out um, and actually back the truck onto this thing here, which would be kind of cool. I like that. So uh, let's go work on the truck. Uh, I'm going to make it out of just probably the cheapest block I've got. We'll make it out of these. And, uh, yeah, we'll get ourselves some suspension. 
And we've got some gas for one, so this shouldn't be too much of an issue. So let's get cracking, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a second. Just a warning, this is going to be a very ugly truck for today. <laughs> but as long as it works, I'm going I'm to be a happy, a happy squid nugget. So, yeah, let's go and make this, make this a fat boy, fat boy truck. We need it to have a long bed, and we'll have a... Is that going to be long enough, actually? I'm trying to... <laughs> I, I guess if the logs stick out the back, it's not too much of an issue, so I shouldn't really worry too much. Um, but yeah, let's go and get ourselves uh, the rest of the stuff to build it. So let's go pop some suspension on this thing. Uh, like so. This is going to be a, quite a tall little thing. Tall little thing. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I, I kind of, I kind of digging it. I want to pretty up a little bit. Like, I know that a lot of other people have, uh, spent a long time on their, on their trucks and their creations. But, like, you guys have got to kind of imagine that, like, I spent nearly a, f not a full day. Probably, like, eight, eight, ten hours, like, remaking all this stuff. So, today, we just test it. It's all about testing and uh, seeing if we can come up with something cool. I feel like this is a good size. We will get a few trees in here. Uh, what I'll do is I will actually... Um, I'll put this up here as well. Just because we're going to need to have quite a few trees on here. So it's going to need to be a, a big surface area. So let's go and build the front. So... What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I need some more bearings. That's what I need. Ow! Actually, what I was thinking. Should we just... Should we weld this onto the back? If I weld this... Wait, which way does it need to go? So it needs to be welded at this side, I believe. And... That isn't too bad. That's kind of low to the ground. Look at the wheels. <laughs> do you know what? I'm kind of happy with that. Right, let's go get some more stuff. And then we can carry on building. This is going swimmingly so far. <laughs> no complaints yet. But yeah, one of the, the things um, was when they patched it, uh, for me especially... They just bugged the sound. There's, if, you, if you're wondering where the sound is, like, sometimes it's in and out, but, like, the sound is pretty bugged, which is a little bit of a shame. I don't know if they're going to fix it. I know, um, yeah, Scrapman messaged me, and he said that he can't even get in the game. So, there's a few people having problems right now, so... But they are updating it regularly, so I can't really complain with that. They are, you know, they're doing a, a good effort, which is uh, amazing. you got to support the devs. You know what I mean? I know sometimes I get a little bit frustrated and, and tear them down, but, you know, we, we got to support the devs, guys. They're doing the best they can. <laughs> uh, but what, about, what do I need? What do I need here? we got a gas engine, which is going to be good enough. Uh, they did talk about, as well, automating the oil, which, oh my goodness, I cannot wait for that. That is going to be a game changer. Not having to go down and get oil is going to be mm, brilliant. So brilliant. Okay, I need a few more wheels. That's what I need. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I've got the rest of the stuff. Let's crack on building. So I'm hoping this is going to work. This is quite a quite a simple design. So I'm going to do split steering just so it will turn better. I'm hoping so... All we need to do is add these here, like so, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Might as well extend it a little more, have a funky design coming up. All right, so let's build the front. So yeah, it's pretty much going to be the same as the back. I guess I could make it a little bit smaller, but I kind of want the wheels to be uh, out the same. So as I said, it's not the prettiest thing I've ever made. Um, but if it works, then it works. And I'm, I'm yet to test it, so I can't really say it works yet. <laughs> we'll just have to see. <laughs> I kind of want a window here to see how much logs I've got. I know I know you can obviously look in, like, third person, but it'd be nice to see the progress. This is so ugly. This is so ugly. This is so ugly. Say it with me. This is so ugly. <laughs> this is ridiculously ugly, Squid. This is a monstrosity. Gotta have a little window to see, though. Safety first and all that. Look at this. Look at this beast. Such a beast of a truck. It's not really. <laughs> um, okay, so. Bada bing. Bada bing. And then. Bada boom. Bada boom. And I have run out of. Uh, yeah, pipes. <laughs> Just ignore the truck. It's not even there. Thank you, Whitpot. Okay, it's ignoring it. Whew. I was super focused on that. I was like, do what you dare. Don't you dare. Okay. Is that it? Couple more whip bots. 
You see legs flying everywhere. There's a guy. There's a couple of guys that are reluctant. Come on. It's all right. There we go. Lovely sounds. Look at this guy. All right. You want me to... I'll just snipe him. Come on, buddy. What's his head doing? <laughs> is that it? Is that all she wrote? I think it is, guys. I think that's everything. It's everything. All right. Switch it off. All right. You can't really see, but she turns. She doesn't do too bad. I, I think the little split turning I've done in the middle is a little bit wonky. I wonder if I can connect another... Okay, I can't. <laughs> okay, the chainsaw on the back is probably not the greatest idea I've ever had. And I can't even see. Yeah, we might just well put it on the front. Should we just put it on the front? It can't really hurt on the front, can it? Get on the front. Stick it on the front. Yeah! There we go. Is it connected still? Uh, where's my switch? There it is. All right, let's go chop some trees. Let's, let's try this again. So I just pull up to it and I go... Oh, it works perfectly. And then I get out and I'm like, Bloop. and then we go around the back and I'm like, Bloop. this is so freaking simple yet so effective. This is unbelievable. This works so well. Okay, the steering's a little bit weird because of the thing in the middle. Why did I do that? I'm such an idiot. Pull up to it. Okay, just turn a little bit. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. This shouldn't work this well. This should not work this well. The good thing about this is you can always have, if you've got another player joining your world, you get one person out just collecting all the trees, and I guess the other person, like, oh, I don't really know, because there's not really much else for the other person to do. Just watching, having a cup of tea. Good job, Frank. Don't know who Frank is. Pull up to the tree. Be like, hi, tree. Goodbye, tree. <laughs> I'm a genius. Ow! Yeah, maybe I'm not that much of a genius. Man flattened by his own produce. Oh, all the wood. All the wood. Apart from this bottom bit. I don't know why I don't get this, like, it completely off, like, the stump. Oh, well. You know what? It's good enough for me. This is, like, first try as well. This little, this little chainsaw mechanic is pretty legit. I don't even, what am I doing? I don't even need this. I don't even need this. This is, this is ex excess weight that isn't needed right now. We, we, we're wasting fuel with them six extra blocks. <laughs> all right. Goodbye, tree. Thank you. There we go. Jolly good. I'll just be taking you. I guess I could take this bit as well, but I'll, I'll get them bits. I'll get them bits later. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm a trucker now. Truckers, we, we don't worry about them little bits. We worry about the big bits. That's the, the trucker saying. That's what, that's what all the truckers uh, talk about. We always worry about the big bits. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what I'm on about. I'm just, I'm just happy because uh, it works so... So well and so efficiently. Oh, wee! Oh, it's hard being a logger. Oh, oh, that one wants to even load itself. <laughs> oh, this is a big boy tree. This is a big boy, big tree. This, this is a uh, call your mama tree. I don't know. <laughs> hey, mom, I got a big tree. Okay, last one, and then we need to start thinking about um. Oh, are you all right? Is it scraping across the ground? What's going on here? I think I've bitten off more than I could chew with this this tree. I think we need more juice. I think I need to give it more juice. There we go. Ah, uh, that was great. All right. Oh, look at the side. <laughs> They're all like normal in. Whoa, big mama. Okay, so. Time for the sawmill. Let's go. I might have to put some wheels to kind of push the tree in. Okay, this is questions guys many questions so i think the one saw should should be fine there's, there's rarely ever like you know it works sort of it's either a failure or it's a, a success so this is gonna be this time will tell what this is now i just need an engine do i have a spare engine i think i do actually all right well seems to be working so I guess we just load it up. <laughs> I don't know, I, I'm just going to see what happens, aren't I? All right, which tree should we do first? This is a bad mechanism to unload it. I really need to work on a better mechanism, but for now, we'll just do this. And then we'll just grab a log. Let's just grab a log, see what happens. Shall we grab a log? Ooh, that's a good idea. Okay, so we need, like, a, a thing up here, don't we? The trees... I like it my game out. Give me a tree. All right. And then we get rid of this. And then we turn it on. 
And they don't work. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's all about testing and scrap mechanics. <laughs> Gotta love the scrappy wheels. If this doesn't work, then my next idea is a piston. And if that doesn't work, the next idea is... I don't know, just get out and push it. <laughs> oh, it's moving it, look! Yes! More power, maybe? Go on, son! More power! That's all you need. Go on! Okay, it's definitely moving. Now, this angle is not good enough, so we need a hard 75, and then we'll crack on. Okay. The saw blade is into the tree, but nothing's happening. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's that's not that's that's not that's not working. That's that is I can confirm that is not working. That's not a healthy tree. Okay, well not to worry. We'll just have to just redo this. So I'm gonna get rid of the scrap wheels because they're a bit crap. I think they're a bit crap, and I feel like we need to replace these with saw blades. I reckon we just get rid of this here. And scrap this idea. Let's see what I did there, guys. Scrap, scrap this. <laughs> I'm okay. This looks a little bit frightening. <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see what happens. This might this might not work because obviously this stuck out a little bit too far, but trial and error, guys. Trial and error. Connect all these. They all need to be spinning this way so it pushes the tree this way to the end. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll get rid of the controller now. All right. So, take two. Pop it on near the saw blade. The, this will be running. Oh my goodness, look at how much it's drinking. Desperately need to level this up. And then we just get rid of this. No, is it not chopping it? What the heck? I'm so confused. It's not chopping it. Does it need to be... Oh, oh, there we go. Maybe... Oh, there we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna up it one more. Maybe we could do with saw blades on each side. I think that might be a bit more efficient. Yeah, this is not... It's working, but... Yeah, it's not going great. Not going great. I think it's got to the point where it's not even doing anything. Hmm. Does it work better the other way? Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, no. My truck's in the way, isn't it? I need to move my truck. And I can't move my truck because it's got a bunch of trees on the back. Oh, no, 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 no. The red, the red, the red. Oh! I wonder if crushing wood works. I wonder if saw blades are the thing of the past. Might be a stupid idea. Probably is a stupid idea. Just, uh, just for science. Just for science. Just for science. Because crushing stuff works for bots. This could break it, though. This is anything. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go for a smaller piece. Okay, I'm going to have to move my truck regardless. I don't, I don't want to get it messed up. Well, it's bots o'clock, and what the heck is happening to my ramps? Okay, there we go. It freaked out a little bit. Hey, what are you doing? You're supposed to be going for the crops. Not for me, flower. Jeez. Turn you off. You've done a good job as always. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to use... I kind of do want to try if it'll crush it or not, but... Like, this isn't even pushing it. I feel like I should build it on top of some resource collectors, maybe. Or at least be able to put the resource collectors underneath. That could work. Oh, it fits in the floor. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. That is perfect. All right, it's time for the next design. Uh, I've put the resource collectors on the bottom of the base. And uh, yeah, we just put a crap to the saws. I'm going to see if it likes the saws being completely flat um uh, we'll just have to find out it i don't know it's my first time really uh doing this sort of stuff like really just playing with it in this this depth so we'll see uh how the trees kind of reacts it's all kind of about learning the physics of the trees and how how uh, how efficient you know what's the best way to kind of efficiently do it so if i okay we'll grab that that was weird <laughs> we'll grab that Pop it there, and then get rid of the block, and then turn it up, and turn it on. Not really bothered about that. It's not bothered about that in the slightest. So maybe we have to put the the blades going up, or at least at an angle. So okay, let's just change this quickly. All right, next idea it is. So yeah, let's go crack on with this. 
<laughs> I'm just trying all the ideas right now. Like, I spent the shortest amount of time uh, actually making the truck itself. And then now we're trying all these complex stuff. So we'll see if uh, we'll see if this works. So this is... Uh, I've changed all the directions of the saws. They're all facing, obviously, uh, on like a vertical angle. And uh, they're all going the same way. Resource collectors on the bottom. There's a piston that will push the tree down. So let's just uh, crank this up and see how this goes. Oh, is it meeting? How does that not work? I am so confused. Like, it's pushing on the blades. What? What? This is the exact thing that we were doing before. Okay, what about if I get rid of the controller? Okay, let me... <laughs> <laughs> I am running out of ideas. Um, maybe it needs more force because it's only a level one piston, do you think? Seven. Okay, I need some more component kits. Arr! Okay, I've upgraded the piston. <laughs> what? What? I don't understand. Is it the engine? Do you think it's the engine that's doing it? Okay, I'll swap the engine real quick and see if the engine... Maybe it's because the it's not getting enough power to cut them. Okay, let's just swap this quickly. <laughs> I can't believe this. I honestly thought this would have been it. Like, it's got a piston pushing it down. Um, yeah. Crazy. Okay, let's do a do. Boom. 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 Don't really need to attach that one just yet for the test. That's max. What? Ah! Okay. Um, what about if I just take it off? Okay, okay, okay. This is fine, guys. This is fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay? It's fine. Just because I'm I'm worrying. Okay? It doesn't mean you have to. Alright? You just sit sit there and enjoy the show. <laughs> Yo, I am so utterly, utterly confused right now. Okay, these aren't symmetrical, but I just want to... I just want to hug it in. Please. <laughs> Please, game. Please say this is the solution. Okay. Better boom. Pop that on there. At this point, you're just best off using a hammer. Okay, so switch it on. What? What? All right, see so you boys do some tweaks. Let's see how this goes. Oh, my goodness. I am being blinded. Every time I try to get a tree out, it's just so blinded. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I checked out a few of the um, people's videos on sawmilling. Uh, just to see what they did, what the best thing what they did was. And, uh, yeah, quite a few of them did this sort of uh, technique with pushing and then the, the milling like this. So, that's the style that we're going for today. So one of the main guys that I saw do it was uh, Moonbow. So yeah, thanks, thanks for the uh, the help, buddy. Even though that you didn't actually help me, I just kind of stole what you did. But uh, you know what? It's good. It's good advice. It's good consumer advice. This this uh, sort of works. I can't see. I just the only thing that I'm I'm kind of failing on right now is the size uh, of this needs. It needs to be a lot bigger. The problem is if I remove this, okay, then. Uh, then we can kind of get a tree in. Uh, we also need to put a resource collector underneath as well to start picking up all the stuff. But you kind of do need a roof on this thing. I've kind of done a lot of testing. And uh, yeah, if you don't have a roof on, then the tree kind of just pings away. So yeah, that is definitely one of the things that you need to be uh, need to be uh, watching out for. Um, but it hasn't really gone too bad. I'm not going to lie. Like, it could have gone a lot worse today. Like, obviously, the main thing was showing you guys the farm. Uh, and then I obviously wanted to get one of these bad boys built. And uh, I don't know. The, 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 uh, the souls are, seemed like a hit and miss. Very hit and miss. I don't know why, but they just seem uh, hit and miss. But, uh, yeah, let's just remove this. And, uh, yeah, as you see, I need to make this bigger. But because I used all my pis pistons on the AFK farm, I've actually just chopped that myself. Oh, my goodness. This is the quickest way guys if you're wondering how to get wood just chop it <laughs> no i'm joking anyway so yeah well let's press the button it pushes it in and as you can see you kind of need to have a, a sort of like a roof on it because uh, if not then it just freaks out so you kind of need to kind of kind of need to kind of keep saying kind of kind of kind of kind of kind of do this and then you kind of do that but if you put a little secure thing there and you turn turn the pistons down <laughs> 
My pistons are going absolutely freaking crazy right now. <laughs> okay, you just calm down, sir. And then... Yeah, why? What? What's happened to my piston? Calm down, piston. Piston, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Are you good, bro? You good now? Okay, it's good. There we go. Pushes it in. Smashes it up. The only problem is that, yeah, my pistons... Uh, you need, like, three pistons to completely do this. And... I just don't have three pistons. It all went on my AFK farm. But you do get a few stragglers. And, you know, I need to kind of work on how to actually get the wood out of there. Because there is a, um, a resource collector at the back. The thing is, I need to kind of have one underneath. So that the wood just gets sucked sucks out automatically. Maybe if I just put one like, above it, would that work? Like, if it was in planks? Yeah, okay. So above works as well. That's not a bad idea. There we go. So yeah, that, that pretty much works. We just need um, we just need another piston, but I'm going to get another piece out, uh, and I'm going to try it. So let's just... These are all my off pieces. <laughs> oh no, it's nearly 12. It's nearly raid time. Oh no, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Why did my door... What's happening to my doors? Oh, my goodness. Thing... What are you doing? You're supposed to go for my farm. Don't just stare at me all creepily, like. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Oh, my goodness. What a jerk. Did he destroy one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nah. No, he didn't. It's fine. He didn't destroy one. It's fine. Panic over. I don't know what he would do. What? Oh, that's what he would do in. The sneaky bugger. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've welded all the logs together. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Ow. How's that happened? How have I welded that? <laughs> oh, no, my vehicle. How did I do that? Oh, they're all welded on this. I think. There we go. Oh, squid. Oh, I welded. <laughs> Can't believe I'm... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Such an idiot. Still want to try welding a piece of wood. That's the wrong way, Squid. Welding a piece of wood, um, actually, and see if it gets crushed with the uh, the farm. Like, what's the mechanics there? Does it crush it? Huh. It doesn't actually crush it. Well, that kind of goes that idea. Oh, well. At least we know now. Oh, God. Why is it stuck? Why is it stuck? Oh, no. Well, first half of this video went great. This half, just it's just not going well, guys. It's, I welded my truck together. The so it ha it, Everything, it had to happen. That's what I'm trying to say. It wouldn't be a squid video if, you know, it all went swimmingly, would it? All right. Well, I've welded that in um, like an idiot. I didn't put a block there. But yeah, let's switch it on and test it out. I don't know what's going to happen with this bit, but let's just see what happens. Come on. Go in. Yes. Go into little pieces. Oh. Oh, oh, if we just had a little bit more extension on our piston, then it'd work perfectly. Do you know what? I think it's a, a decent effort, all right? We still got a lot of kinks, but it took me a while to get the AFK farm sorted. So, room was a bit in a day, guys. That's all I'm saying. But hopefully you have enjoyed. Hopefully you enjoyed the new base and the new truck and the new farm and the new sawmill. Obviously, I'm going to get it looking a little bit more fancy. But yeah, um... Since the patch came out, I can't remove the encryptors anymore, which is kind of weird. I just thought I'd let you know. I don't know if that means something's coming in the future, like close for the warehouses, but couldn't remove it. Really, really weird. But anyway, guys, hope you did enjoy this scrappy episode. If you did, please smash like. So sorry it's been two days since the last one, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this one nonetheless. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.